Hi guys, what's up? We are interesting and focused. Today we have a very unique video. We'll try to survive this night in the forest. We'll make some kind of overnight stay, maybe a tiny house under the snow. And the main thing is that we have no plan. We take with us minimum stuffs, maybe some kind of shovel and an axe. And most importantly, matches so as not to freeze up. Without wasting any more time, let's do it. For survival in the forest, you need a lot of different things, and one of them is an axe. And now we are choosing which one to take, the sharper one or the compact one. We also took a pot, maybe we'll cook some soup or snow. Then we took a saw and ropes. I think the rope is needed in the forest. We also took such cool matches that burn for five minutes. We have never seen such matches before. They are from some kind of sawdust. Well, we'll see together with you how they burn out. Aren't you tired? Not yet. We're walking here for an hour already, looking for a good place to make a house. We want it either under the tree or in some kind of pit. The best thing that I like is that for our trekking tour, we chose a very cool place, or rather the right forest. Because it's a mixed forest, there are a lot of dry and broken branches around, and we don't have to cut down live trees. We are walking and thinking where we can make some kind of hut for the night. We thought to make it on the tree because we already made houses on the tree before, but for this we don't have the materials now. No screws, no screwdriver and no logs and moreover, it'll take a long time and we won't make it till night. If the beast attacks us at night, I have got an axe. If a beast attacks you at night, you will be sleeping and it won't help you. You mean he will eat me? Especially the wild boar. Do you know how wild they are? This is a great place to make a house. If there was another log, we can simply put it vertically and it will be on a bit of elevation. It will be the floor of the house. I'm more inclined towards the idea to make it in some pit because we can take something like it's covered in snow and we'll have such a warm little house. The only pit you'll find in the forest is a bare den. So good luck, I would rather build a house on a tree. We'll see, I wonder if our skills will be really useful for survival in the forest. Our skills of power drilling surely won't be needed here. I'll definitely not lose, I grew up in the village. I'm freezing out here, we need to do something. Whoa, what a beautiful trees! See what a beautiful green trees! Awesome! It's green because there's moss on them. Look, there is a pit! A pit, guys! I found a place for the house. I think it's green, but where did the pit come from? Dude, I don't know where this pit came from. And some bricks are sticking out there. Maybe it was a bunker. Well, that's not the point. I can already see what it's gonna look like. That's it. Here we'll have the exit, because here it's low. Look, the brick are sticking out. Maybe there was really a bunker here once. Look, this pit will be the place for our all-night stay. Okay, I'll clear the snow here and you go for the big branches. I'm gonna make this place awesome. I've cleared all the snow here, or rather I dug it till the very bottom and covered it with soil. Look how cool it's here. Just like a volcano. For some reason, here the soil is quite loose. It seems this pit has been dug out recently. You know what I came up with? These bricks that are sticking out, we could get them out and we'll make a stove out of them for our pot. By the way, it's good that I took a raincoat with me because now it's snowing wet, so take it out. In my huge backpack there are boots, plastic bags, see, I did such a life hack, and there is also Ficus raincoat in it. Dude, you've got an awesome raincoat! Where did you get this? You look like some kind of maniac! Friends, there is a maniac! Maniac with a shovel! Oh no! Remember the movie Home Alone? There was an old guy in a coat used to walk with a shovel. By the way, it began to snow, in fact heavily, so we should rather cover our pit. While Ficus was digging the pit, I collected a lot of wood. Here they are, and over there as well. So let's first start with them, and then we'll look for more if it's needed. 
искать еще, если понадобится. We chose the perfect time to shoot this video. Do you know why? Because now it's not that freezing cold, it's about zero degrees, but in the evening it's usually below zero. But in any case, now it's fine and we won't be freezing out. Which is good. And I was worried that we can't do anything in the wild way in the forest. See how it's turning out. There's our skills that we have gained over the years. Are coming useful to us now. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> you look so funny. I'm like the postman from that cartoon. He also had such a long coat. It looks from the Soviet Union time. Well, how is there? Not bad. If we put something on the floor, we can really sit here. It's so cozy. I mean, it's really cool. And what do we need at the next stage? We need to find some pine needles. Pine needles? Or fir tree. And with these magnificent branches, cover it from above so that it's even denser. What's up, Forrester? As always, we didn't shoot when I carried it, but we shoot the part when Ficus carried it, and it turns out that Ficus is hardworking and I'm lazy. We hope that these hip hop branches would be enough. Acorns! Acorns? Yes, there are so many of them. Wow, cool! So we put this bunch of branches and made such a nice hut. And now let's hope that the snow that we are going to pile on it will not fall down. The pit is amazing. It's really like a den. I hope the bears will not come to us to warm themselves up or for sleeping here. Is it warm there? I don't know how much, but my legs are warmer here. Well, one would not say that there is something underneath. As if there are just snow. Basically, our house is ready, but what Ficus is doing? I'm collecting small sticks, preferably the dry ones, in the hope of making a bonfire. But I highly doubt it because everything is wet. The only thing is pleasure is that we took a burner with us. It's a very small house burner. Maybe it will help us to dry the wood or don't know. But somehow we need to do something with it. While I was roaming around here, I saw a lot of nests. And I wonder when the birds return from the south, do they return to their nest or they make a new one? That's a good question. Maybe our subscribers know something about this. Yes, I'm asking you. Write it below. Write your opinion in the comments, guys. I was walking and thinking about where to make the bonfire. At first I wanted to make it in the pit, but I realized that it would start to melt and the fire would be in a puddle and will go out. So we'll have to burn the fire outside. Maybe there? Ray will have a bonfire. It's time for my favorite burner. We're gonna warm up. Oh. What do you think? Will it catch fire? I kept some leaves there. You understand that everything is completely wet. Today is zero degrees, so everything is wet, even the wood. We do have hope, but very little. But we need to light up the fire because it's cold and we need to cook something. It seems like it's burning. Which means we are not dying of cold. Okay, turn off the burn now. Maybe it's really burning a little. Whoa, it's burning, guys! It's good that I have a flashlight. I don't know what we will do without it. Well, what are you doing? I want to make something like a stove for our pot. Basically, we have put a pot already. We have eggs, but no water, because I drank it. So now we have to melt the snow and boil eggs in it. It's unique technology. Now we will wait until our snow turns into water. It's
it looks like the ice is already melting down because the eggs are visible. Let it boil and now we will go to warm ourselves in the house and at the same time we will see what is there because I didn't go inside it yet and even you didn't see it. So let's enter. Cool. Is it those interesting matches? Yes, but wait how it opens. Okay, wow, such a cool calm. I think we need to break it off. What? Cool! I don't know, but personally I feel really comfortable in this house. Of course, it's a bit cold, but if you compare it with happening above, then there is it far better. Because he's sitting here like a fish man, he looks completely like a real person. <laughs> I can't even imagine that from the outside it's not visible at all that there's a life exists here. Actually, we have sealed the roof so tightly with snow that it's not visible at all that there could be something underneath. Yes, under the snow. I wonder what's with our thought. The woods are still burning, so the eggs will boil. Because come out, the dinner time. Hooray! Is the fire still there? Yes, of course. <laughs> Fikas is coming out of the hole. As you can see, we had enough firewood to boil the water. And note that the water is out of the snow. Yes. By the way, there is such a life hack for easily removing the hard shell of the boiled egg. You need to put them from the hot water immediately into the cold water. In our case, we have snow, so we're gonna just throw them into the snow. Look, the snow is melting because of the eggs. That's all, I'm really hungry. Give me an egg. Is it cooked? Yes. Whoa, it boiled in the snow. Yes, it sounds really crazy. This is cool. And as I said, it's really easy to remove the shell now. We are awesome. Just like these eggs. I think we deserve your like. It's without salt, but really tasty. All right, we finished eating and now we can go inside and rub our belly. Hey, Winnie Pooh, did you see the weenie barely passed it? Now the second Winnie will enter. Well, everything is okay, I entered quickly. This looks really like a den. That's the only word for it. Guys, this is our first survival experience and I hope it turned out well. At least we are not left without shelter. You can really spend a night like this and it will be definitely warm underneath. But in my bed it's better. Well, it was such an experiment and I think we can wrap it up now, because it's already 1 a.m. But if you want the continuation, write about it below in the comments and we will continue it. Yes, maybe in the next time we will try to make it more difficult. Perhaps we will not take any matches with us, no food product or any kind of tools as well. Well, hit thumbs up and if you like this video, leave your comments below be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to not miss the new videos you know that we'll love you and we'll keep surprising you thanks for watching till next time bye Blah, blah.